Hey you guys, this is Speedy Arsenal here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Webman on uh, PS3 firmware 4.82 rebug uh, decks. Um, so pretty much what you will need is to download the update uh, rebug 4.82 decks DREX update that I'm going to leave in the description. And I will also leave the Webman Updater PKG, which is right here that you're going to need in the description as well. So, once you download those, you want to go ahead and copy it over to your USB like you do every uh, for every PKG. And for the update, you want to create a folder on the PS or the USB called ps3 all caps and inside that folder you want to create another one called update all caps and then you want to drag the rebug uh update into the uh update folder and you want to rename that update file that you just dragged into the update folder to ps3 updat.pup i'm gonna go ahead type what it will look like so all right p s 3 then you want to put up that dot pop And that's what it should be renamed to in that uh, update folder. And after you rename it, you want to, ex um, I'm pretty sure it's eject your USB. And yeah, and uh, put it in your PS3, the right slot of your PS3. And then you want to just go to update update via storage media and it should be like that and then you click it and update it after that uh, once it's all updated and stuff you want to go to your package manager when your PS3 reboots uh, and you want to go and install Webman mod now since I've already uh, installed it it's right here all you do is pretty much um load it so i'm gonna go ahead load it anyway just to show you <sighs> and it should probably back you out or reboot your ps3 yeah it backs you out and reboots your ps3 and once your PS3 reboots, it will say in the top right, Webman, load it. You might also want to make sure that in Rebug Toolbox that you have uh, Cobra enabled. Cobra mode. Um, so it should be Rebug, System Mode, Operation Mode, Debug debug menu type dex uh and then right here it should be toggle cobra mode enabled and then you just quit uh the app and it reboots your system again and then after that you're all set and you can use wetman now since it didn't reboot mine that's because i'd never changed nothing in the rebug toolbox so uh, all I had to do was just go in it and uh, show you what it should be set to. And as you can see, once you load up Webman, it shows all this stuff. You can uh, change your IDPS, which will be just dots, just to make sure that no one can uh, steal your IP. Or IDPS, not IP. And then... 
uh, you can just go ahead and save and stuff and just back out. But that's going to be it. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment below if you need help. And I'm out. Peace.